The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. Will Japan surpass China in the next five years? Hello, I'm Emrat Thich, founder of Ping Sunday. I'm a table tennis coach in France. The recent Asian Table Tennis Championships in 2024 have set off alarm bells for Team China. For the first time in history, China lost 20 away matches in a single tournament, an unprecedented event that has left fans and analysts alike questioning the future of Chinese table tennis. Meanwhile, Japan has emerged triumphant, clinching gold medals in the men's singles, women's singles, and women's doubles categories. What is happening within Team China, and could this be a turning point for Japan to surpass its long-standing rival? A red alert for Team China. This championship was a wake-up call for China. The absence of top players due to fatigue and injuries severely impacted the team's performance. Family picture with champion and medalist. Kanımdar Mian Mazalar, Oslayşa, Jitu Kunge Sozlogan, Astana Mazdin Kurdjiga, Ste Tienisnien, Jirma Jitu, Asia Chimkanata, Vis Marisnie Jitta. Ladies and gentlemen, the 27th Asian Table Tennis Championship, which took place over the last seven days here in Astana, has came to an end. Sun Yingsha withdrew from the tournament, a significant loss for the women's team. Lin Shidong, a rising star, appeared exhausted, struggling to maintain his usual level of play. Wang Chuchin also faced an early exit, and while Yang Jing Kun showed moments of brilliance, he lacked the consistency needed to lead the team to victory. These setbacks have raised questions about the sustainability of China's dominance in table tennis. Mr. Hatawood, one more trophy. The top players have been pushed to their limits, and the mental and physical toll of rigorous training and competition is becoming evident. Japan's Rise On the other hand, Japan's performance has been nothing short of stellar. Winning gold in key events demonstrates a well-prepared team that has been sharpening its skills and strategies. The victories not only reflect individual talent, but also a cohesive team effort that seems to be bearing fruit. Japan's younger generation is stepping up, showing resilience and determination that could threaten China's long-held supremacy. However, the question remains, can Japan sustain this momentum and truly surpass China in the next five years? The answer is complex. The road ahead. It is certainly possible for Japan to close the gap and potentially surpass China, but it hinges on a few critical factors. Firstly, China must address its current issues with player fatigue and the lack of a strong emerging young generation. If the country fails to cultivate new talent to replenish its ranks, its dominance may wane. Japan, on the other hand, needs to build on its recent successes. It requires a strategic focus on developing its youth programs and ensuring that the rising stars are given ample opportunities to compete at the highest levels. Consistency in training, mental fortitude and experience will be crucial in solidifying their place in the top tier of international table tennis. Conclusion in conclusion, while Japan has shown it is more than capable of challenging China, the next five years will be pivotal. If China can rejuvenate its roster with fresh talent and address the fatigue of its star players, it may well retain its position at the top. Conversely, if Japan continues its upward trajectory and capitalizes on China's vulnerabilities, we could witness a dramatic shift in the power dynamics of table tennis. Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The competition is heating up, and both teams must adapt to thrive in this ever-evolving landscape. So, many of these so-called good match, good match, can be won. Hand hand touch, let's see if the time changes. Hmm. Eleven to five, this way, Zhang Menzhuo is winning the three to one match against the Korean player Li Zhihua. He won the 2024 Asian Table Tennis Championship gold medal. This whole match, actually, the two teams have shown very 
。呃，说回到整场比赛呢，我们其实可以简单的来回顾一下。嗯，第一局的开局阶段，林志栋打的是非常非常好的。呃，在八比二、八比三的那一分有一个接发球的拧拉失误，其实当时是有一些着急，而且着急。拧丢了这一分之后，可能后续几分的处理啊，没有把节奏控制的很好，有些偏快，所以第一局在领先。Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.